Good afternoon friends, uh, welcome to the mid-market update from the advisory desk. Uh, today I will take you to the market, uh, it opened on a red note, again uh, Nifty down by almost 25-30 uh, points uh, and Sensex down by almost around 60-70 to 70 points. Uh, now this was led by the overnight fall in the Dow Jones, the US markets which were down by almost 116 points. Uh, now they are also gathering a kind of a news uh, or you can say a strong rumors that the central bank might kind of scale down on their bond buying programs uh, which could kind of uh, take the liquidity crunch out of the system and it may be a kind of risky for the emerging markets as a whole. So even the Bank of Japan they have uh, left uh, the interest rates kind of at the same level but uh, it hints that uh, major kind of uh, countries, uh, central banks are not now in the favor of uh, injecting more stimulus uh, into the market. Uh, Hang Seng and Chinese markets are shut today uh, because of their holiday. Uh, so we don't have any cues from there. Uh, but looking at the current market, uh, uh, Sensex is down by almost 140 points uh, because we just came out with the IIP numbers uh, and it was 2.0% 2. Uh, 2. versus the expectation of 2.7%. So on the production productivity front also kind of India is losing the momentum uh, which was the last hope. Uh, for the kind of uh, Indian economy to shine. Uh, now that uh, hopes have also gone and the CPI came in at 9.3%. Uh, so that was also the more than the analyst estimate. Uh, so inflation is still not kind of uh, under control. It's stubbornly high. Uh, it is kind of leading the whole in the household income of uh, the Indian citizens. Uh, coming back to the stocks uh, which are kind of on the loser side, uh, we have uh, Tata Power, Coal India, TCS, uh, Bajaj Auto and Sun Pharma which are kind of uh, contributing on the downside. Uh, on the gainers we not have uh, much on the upside but we have some stocks which are doing fairly well compared to the losers. We have uh, Jinda Steel, Sipla, Starlight. Uh, and ONGC are the stocks which are kind of barely kind of flat to a slightly positive. Uh, friends, one stock uh, which uh, is in the news and I would like to mention is uh, Titan Industries. Uh, uh, yesterday also the stock was down, today the stock opened 10% down and is almost down by nearly 15 to 17% uh, on the intraday basis after the government has said that to if, if any company needs to kind of buy gold, uh, they need to pay cash upfront uh, and not uh, leverage or uh, no financing will be provided. So now this as per the Titan uh, management, uh, it will kind of uh, increase their interest cost and uh, dent the profitability margins in the coming quarters. So that stock is under pressure, uh, lots of volume have been uh, generated and the stock is facing the brunt uh, from the government side. Uh, Friends, on the com coming back to the forex market, uh, rupee is trading at again 58.3, 58.35 vis-a-vis the US dollar. Uh, not much movement or not much respite seen. Uh, yesterday we almost went to 58.98. Uh, today we have kind of just strengthened by almost 40 pesa. But still, uh, there is no glimmer of hope seen uh, on the rupee as uh, the government finances not look that encouraging. Uh, Friends, also on the Satyam uh, and the Mahindra Satyam and Tech Mahindra update, the Andhra Pradesh court has kind of uh, given the go-ahead uh, for the merger and uh, it's now fully completed. Uh, friends, that's all the news and updates we have. Uh, we'll get back to you more in post-market. Thanks.